let's take a look at uh, discharging a capacitor. So I'm going to discharge a capacitor into a known resistance for a certain amount of time, and I'm going to find out how much voltage is going to be left in that capacitor. So here's the formula for it here. This VC, that's going to be the voltage on a capacitor. V0 here, that's their initial voltage. In this case, we're going to charge it up to 5 volts. And then E, that's Euler's number, you know, 2.71828. And then uh, minus T, that's our time, divided by our RC time constant here. So now, in this case, I'm using a 10K uh, ohm resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. And I'm going to discharge that capacitor for two seconds. And we're going to see how much uh, voltage is left in there. So here's the formula here. So I'm taking my 10,000 times my 0 0.0001 farads, my 100 microfarad, and that's going to be 1. That makes the math easier here. So I just have minus T here, which is uh, going to be our 2 seconds, minus 2 seconds here. Now, uh, a lot of calculators can do this, uh, you know, to the power of minus 2. But if not, you can just use this exponent rule down here and you take your Euler's number squared and divide that into 1, just take the reciprocal of that. So this and this are the same thing. You multiply that by 5 and it comes out to 0 0.6766 something. Okay, so what I did is I built up this little circuit here. This is our LCD display, our uh, Arduino Nano. I've got a relay over here and I have uh, over here I just have a Schmidt trigger to, to uh, activate the relay. And I did use Smith trigger because I didn't want the, uh, the input to bounce there at all. So uh, that's all that's for. And I'm using a relay because if you use a, uh, um, a transistor or a MOSFET, as soon as you, um, this is where we, we're going to charge the capacitor, as soon as you start charging it, it's going to start bleeding through the, uh, through the transistor and start losing voltage. So I'm, I'm using a, um, a relay for that. So here we're going to charge it up to 5 volts from positive to ground here. And then when we close this uh, relay, it's just gonna discharge through that 10K capacitor there. So we're gonna give it a try. Here's the unit here, a little bit uh, crude there. And let me turn the light off here. I think, let me see, uh, there we go. So now we're gonna charge it up to five volts. It says five volts, can you see that? I think so. And then I'm gonna discharge it for two seconds. And then uh, here's our voltage here. Once you release the, uh, uh, the capacitor starts to come back a little bit. So right now we have 0.65 uh, volts on the capacitor and uh, 0.66 volts. Close to what did I say it was gonna be? I calculated it at 0.67. So uh, looks like it's coming to get close to 0.67. And uh, so uh, yeah, that, that works good. That, now the you know the resistor is is only five percent, and the capacitor is the same thing. And uh, you know all this uh, wiring I have in here is probably have some inductance on here, but uh, uh, it's uh, close to what I, I calculated, 0.67 something. It's changing. So uh, yeah, and the the analog input on here actually has some burden voltage on it too. So if you leave this long enough, it's just going to drain out through that uh, the analog pin there. But uh, that's it for uh, the unit here. Now, I'm going to turn the light back on, so wa watch your eyes here. There we go. Now, the, uh, here's the Arduino code here. So uh, we just have our liquid crystal display, our um, library, and then we put our, put our pins in here. I changed the order of the pins just so that I wouldn't have to uh, crisscross the wires. And on our float voltage, I'm using float voltage so we can get some decimals. And this uh, time period and this uh, time now, instead of using uh, down here at the bottom, instead of using a delay, which you can do, just two second delay, um, I'm using uh, milliseconds to, uh, for my timing. And uh, so that uh, in the future, I can, I can read out the, the time and I can actually change this period. And uh, so, but for now, I'm just using this milliseconds. It, and you could just use um, a delay if you want. And uh, for here, we're just reading the analog voltage here. And uh, now, on here, when you, you print the analog voltage here, you print the voltage, this comma 5, that just means it gives us uh, five decimal places, OK? And then we digital read. if we read the uh, pin 2 is high, I push the button, then uh, 
we, we go through our, our milli function thing here. So, you know, while mills are less than the time now and the period, this is our time now with zero here, and 2,000 milliseconds. Uh, if the digital write to 13 is high, then, then we write it low, okay, after the two, after the two seconds there. So that's all there is to the uh, the program. I'm going to, you know, if this thing works out, I'll, I'll uh, you know, can elaborate on that thing and I'll be able to change it, the time period. And, uh, yeah, so, but that's... Uh, that's it for the um, code, Arduino code, and uh, I'm going to leave a description to the, of the code and the uh, the diagram there in the uh, in the description. So, uh, yeah, uh, right now we've got uh, uh, point uh, six seven four three nine. What did I say? We calculated it was going to be point six seven six six seven. Uh, can't be any closer than that with uh, you know this wiring. So uh, very good, and uh, thank you. This uh, it's going to work out fine.